burgers you've ever tasted. First up, a mouth-watering buffalo burger with bacon, cheese, and fresh thyme. And later, a tasty turkey burger with cilantro mayonnaise. And of course, all the fixings. So come and join me at my table. Today we're making out-of-the-world burgers, and we have the Edwards family. Welcome, guys. Good to have you. Thank you. Thanks, uh, thanks for stopping by the table here. Yeah, thanks thanks for having Good us. to have you. Now, let me tell you, you guys are from Pittsburgh, right? Pittsburgh, yes. Pennsylvania. Yes. Big burger fan? I know. Come on, Pop. Yeah. I mean, I, I know you got to... They call you the grill master, right? <laughs> That's right. Well, today we're going uh, we're gonna to do some really great burgers. Uh, we're going to begin... First of all, let me tell you when, you, when you, when you're thinking about burgers, whether you go to the grocery store, you should really kind of think, if you can, about grinding your own meat, because it's all, it's all really about the meat. And if you don't do that, then, then get to know your butcher, because you might want to ask him to do the, pro the proper blend. Uh, I like 85-15, meaning 85% lean to 15% fat. You've got to have some sort of fat in the burger for, for a great, great burger. Today, we're going to use buffalo meat, which is really, really, really lean. It's really low in cholesterol. It's really, really great stuff. And you can see there's hardly any fat in that at all. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a little bit of chuck, which you can see has mobbling. Uh, now, I also sometimes will use brisket, believe it or not. Brisket makes great, a great blend for burgers. So what we're going to do is we cube it up. I have some of the buffalo. You can see that's really lean. And what we're going to do is just in our little machine like this, we're going to just sort of begin and start grinding a combination of those meats. So I got about a good 85, probably closer to almost 90% lean here, but you gotta have a little bit of fat. My friend Julia Child used to say, you know, if you're not sure about the right amount of fat, then just put a little butter inside of the, the burger. It always oh. works. <laughs> All right, so once we have this ground, now it's all about the seasoning. So what we're going to do is, while that's happening, we'll just kind of let that go through. Make sure that if you are going to grind your meat, you want to make sure that the equipment that you use is super, super clean. Wash it really, really good with uh, good hot water, maybe even a little bit of vinegar in it. Wash it again, rinse it really good, and dry it really, really good. And then what I find is that if you chill the machine, if you chill the pots before you grind it, it even makes it even a little bit better. Now, what we're going to do is we have a little bit of bacon that I've... Yeah, that, exactly. How can you go wrong? And I'm going to just sort of turn the heat up a little bit. And I'm just rendering that out. And what we're going to do is we're going to take an onion and we're going to dice it. And what I, what I do right here is I just sort of go down about three quarters of the way of the onion. And then I come this way. And then I have like the perfect dice right here. So what we're going to do is take to that bacon. Now I'll turn the heat up now. And I'm going to add some sliced garlic. I'm going to add some onion. Now, let me give you another tip. When you are doing this, and, and not only just for burgers, but for anything cooking-wise, you always want to begin starting with the bacon. If we started with the onion, what would happen is that the onion, the water in the onion, is not gonna, it's not going to let the bacon crisp. So you always start with the bacon first. You get it about 3 quarters, 80% of the way. Then that's what you do is you're going to add a little salt, some fresh ground pepper. We're going to let this cook for about four or five minutes. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to take some fresh thyme. And basically with the thyme, you could use dry as well. We're just going to strip it right off of the stem like that. And I wish you could smell us at home because we're getting already this wonderful, oh yeah, this wonderful aroma of, of the thyme, the onions, the bacon. 
So once this cooks about four or five minutes, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce to our meat, about two tablespoons. Once this cooks, we're gonna let it cool. Then we're gonna add the bacon and onion mixture to the meat mixture. Then we're gonna let it marinate. If you have like a, you know, an hour, that's great. Now we're gonna cook this just until the onion and the garlic is just sort of, it's fragrant. It's just kind of translucent a little bit. We'll let it cool, we'll add it to the meat mixture, we'll let it marinate, and then we'll shape our burgers. When we come back, we're gonna show you exactly how to put them on the grill and in this incredible, incredible turkey burger. Stay with us, we'll be right back. The Edwards family and me, we'll be right back. Hey, welcome back to Emerald's Table. Today we're making burgers with the Edwards family and uh, our buffalo mixture. Uh, it's been chilled for at least about an hour. Now here's a, here's a little tip for you. You wanna be sure, even if it's a steak or a burger, you wanna be sure to take it out of the refrigerator and bring it back up to room temperature. What people do is they take it right out of the refrigerator and then they put it right on the grill or right in the pan and then it doesn't have a chance to, uh, to, to, you know, to get in that atmosphere which is a good reason why they probably stick. Yeah. Um, now, what we're gonna do is prepare our burgers. Again, as I said, let them marinate at least an hour to get all those flavors in there. And you can see the chunks of bacon and plenty of onion in there, the garlic. Now what we're gonna do is once we have that, we're simply just going to put them on the grill. Now, I've got an indoor grill I have an outdoor grill. We could go outside and grill them out there, or we can use a grill griddle pan, but I'm gonna show you that in a second. Now, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna place them on the grill. I have uh, lightly oiled the surface of the grill with a little bit of vegetable oil. Now, once that starts, we're gonna cook the burgers about, about seven or eight minutes on each side. The one thing about cooking burgers, particularly when they're not sort of either beef or in this case, buffalo, particularly with poultry burgers, people are freaked out about, well, how long do we cook them, et cetera, et cetera. So if you're really that, if that's really that important to you, I would invest in, an, uh, you know, in a thermometer to check the temperatures. Now let's talk about turkey burgers. Turkey has become extremely, extremely popular. Uh, you can get it now in any grocery store. What I was talking about earlier, about 85-15, if you use all of the white turkey meat, generally that is anywhere from 95, 98% lean. So you want to add a little bit of the dark turkey meat as well to get a little bit of that fat content. Now, you can overcook this. They'll dry up really, really quickly, so you've got to be careful when you're cooking them. But how do you flavor that? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add a little bit of green onion, or which is also called scallions. So we'll add some green onion to this. And then I've diced also some, some red, on, red onion. Love cooking with red onion. Now to spice it up a little bit, I have a little bit of Serrano chilies right here. Mm -hmm. You could use poblenos, you could use jalapenos, but uh, what we're gonna do, add whatever you, as much as you like. I'm gonna give it a pretty good kick to this. So half it, seeded it out, diced it up real small. Now what we're gonna do is add a couple of other things. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add one egg, and to that egg, we're just gonna whisk it real quick. And this is gonna help sort of bind the spices, the onion, the green onion to this. So that's perfect. Now let's talk about seasoning it up. I wanna use a little bit of chili powder. About a tablespoon on this. 
So we're gonna kind of give it like sort of this southwestern sort of flavor, this turkey. So chili powder. Oh yeah. Then we're gonna add just a little bit of coriander, about a half teaspoon or so. Paprika, which is not only gonna give it flavor, but it's also gonna give it a nice color as well. So about a teaspoon of paprika. And then of course, one of my favorite spices, which is really gonna be yummy, is cumin. Mm -hmm. So about a teaspoon of that. Oh yeah, can you smell that already? Yeah. Incredible. Chris, why don't you come up, you can give me a hand right here. No that would be perfect. I'll give you a plate here. And Great. basically, here's a little wet towel if you just wanna. Thank you. And then if you just want to make make some patties for me there. You're in the business, right? Yeah, this is great. What kind this of business is, are you in? Uh, we're in the chocolate business. I love and that. And chocolate, and we do milkshakes and chocolate. How come you're not like 700 pounds? I know, right? We eat it every day, too, I'm the whole family, you. so it's, it's good. good, it's good for, for us. So if you can make Keep some saying. patties, that'll be great. While we're that's happening, to. I'm going to grab a spatula, and then I'm going to flip the buffalo burgers. We're going to check them out. Now, here's another tip for you, OK? People think that the more times you keep flipping the burgers, pressing them with the spatula, no, 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 no. You don't want to do that. You press it down with the spatula, what you're doing is you're just releasing all the juices from the burger and you're just drying it out. Let it cook. I got the heat on about medium, medium high heat. That's another thing. People just jack up the grill till it's mm -hmm. like practically like just like on fire, uh, thinking that, well, that's, that's the way it should be. Well, you know what? It's all about the heat. Medium, medium, high heat, let it cook real nice. Now, speaking about that, maybe you don't have a grill, whether it's outdoors or whether it's indoors. Hey, no problem. This is a grill griddle pan. One of the best investments, cast iron, that you can make. Basically, it fits right on the stove, whether it's electric or not. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire both burners up about high heat. Now, while that's heating up, what we're going to do is check again on our patties, just making sure they're not sticking. How am I doing over here, Jeff? Hey, you're doing, you're good. doing good. You're doing it's great. Right. It's not too moist. Yep. You know, notice that we've added the moisture. That's what the egg did. Yeah. The egg is going to do that. We're going to shape these patties up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put them on the griddle, which we're heating right now. Am I supposed to put like a thumbprint in the middle of these? No, no, no. That or whatever. No, no, no. Is it okay? Do you want to put a thumbprint? Well, I don't know. That's what, is that like that's what, I, that's what I've seen, of course. That's right. That's <laughs> no, all no. I've seen. That's You're right. doing great right okay, there. It's perfect. Good. All right. Now, look. We're going to see how one side of it is. Oh, look at, look at how beautiful that is. You see that? No fussing around. Look at that. Wow, that looks great. And it smells incredible in here. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're just going to... Turn them over, let them cook, let them get happy right here. You're shaping the patties. I've got the griddle getting really super, mm -hmm. nice and nice and hot. Perfect yeah. size, I think. Okay. Perfect size. You got the right family for burgers today. Yeah? Yes. You're da a burger Dana family? Dana especially, yeah. Dana's I love the it. best, yes. <laughs> yeah. well, I love burgers. I know, she's any just kind straight burger. up burger or any, any kind? kind of burger. All right, so the Edwards family, they love burgers. We're gonna put the turkey burgers now. Watch this. We're gonna take this, because of that moisture, Chris, yep. look at this, right on the griddle. Yeah, it looks good. Right on the griddle, we're gonna go with them. Oh, perfect. You got your last one last there? Last one, right there. Perfect. All right, turkey burgers are on the griddle, buffalo burgers on the grill. When we come back, where do you see the perfect condiment? We'll be right back. Nice job, Chris. Thank you. Great job. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join me on Facebook for all my latest news, recipes, and exclusive behind the scene photos, and a lot more. Hey, welcome back, folks. Getting ready to flip our buffalo burgers right now. Turkey burgers are smelling good. Had to be the way that you shape them. First. That's, all, that's all I can say. You know? <laughs> I know. All right, so here's what we're gonna do, guys. This is like perfect. They're about medium rare to medium. And you can see purposely why I'm flipping them over this way is because what I want to do is I want to add now on them some blue cheese. You could use a, an American, say, an American Maytag blue cheese. You could use Roquefort. We're going to let this burn out a little bit. And then what we'll do is we're going to take our cheese. You guys OK with blue cheese? Yeah. yeah. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take it, and then it'll start crumbling. 
and we'll just crumble a little bit on our burger. Mm. Oh yeah, look at that. Take a little more. Just sort of let the heat melt it on its own while it's kind of resting a little bit. Now that's perfect. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check on our turkey burgers now. They're looking really good. Now you can see what I've done. You see how they puffed up a little bit, Chris? That's from the egg. That's actually, that's from the egg white of the egg is really sort of what's made that nice and puffy. Also, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn the heat down because I had it blazing hot, mm -hmm. super high. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the heat down now to like about medium, so to just let them cook. Mm -hmm. We were talking about in the, the break about a, you know, a thermometer, because you're, you're not the only one petrified, Mom. I just worry about not being cooked. Right, exactly. Use a thermometer, it's nowhere, to, nowhere close to being done. Mm -hmm. But what you wanna do is you wanna get it about 155, 165. It's gonna raise in heat as we let it rest. As, as just like the, uh, the uh, buffalo burgers are. Now, cilantro mayonnaise, which is gonna go a great condiment with those turkey burgers. We're gonna take lots of fresh cilantro. We're gonna take some mustard, which is gonna be an emulsifier. The juice of lime, some fresh garlic, and we're gonna add one egg, which with the mustard is also gonna be a great emulsifier. We're gonna just sort of mix that together. The egg is blending in there. Now we're gonna add some, some vegetable oil, and that's gonna become cilantro mayonnaise, okay? It's gonna be nice and spicy, it's gonna be great. Our burgers are cooking. When we come back, we're gonna put it all together. Wait and see, right here on Emerald Stable. Oh, I'm getting Let's excited now. No way, <laughs> we, we are too. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use uh, about six ounces of milk to start out. We're yep. gonna use really cold milk. Okay. Okay. And now we're, we're doing this in a blender that you could do at home. The blender, you wanna put on the lowest setting. You can still do the job. Yep. Put it on the lowest setting. So we'll use pulps here. That's exactly right. Okay. Okay, so then we put our six ounces of, of whole milk in there. Okay. Yeah, none of that like 8% or whatever that is, right? <laughs> you, know, you know. Okay, now we're gonna go with really good chocolate ice cream. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe. So we're gonna do oh, about yeah. eight ounces of Absolutely. Ice cream. All right, so we got the milk, we got the chocolate ice cream. Okay, and now we're gonna add two ounces of... That, look at that syrup, how thick it is. Look at that. Look at the, in, look how intense that is. Oh yeah, baby. Okay. Looks good. Oh yeah. You could brush your teeth with that. That's right. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna start uh, putting All this right, together. All right, so now we'll just... So we're gonna just pulse it around. This is really thick. This is thick. Here so we this go. is perfect. This is ready to I go. I can see why there are lines like out the door when you're talking about this. All you have to do is use really good quality ingredients. Exactly. That's you what know? it's all about. Okay. Look at this, folks. Look at how thick and delicious that looks. All right, welcome back. It's all about dressing up your burger. All right, guys. Mm. How is that? Mm. Mm. That's the buffalo really burger the with the cheese. cheese. Love, yeah. Right? Lettuce, tomato, mm. I taste the condiments. Mm. Lettuce, tomato, avocado. Okay, look, our turkey burger is perfect right now. You gotta have a milkshake mm. with this, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys, mm -hmm. if anybody knows about milkshakes, right. this is the Cajun shake, right? You want Cajun. more about it, it's easy. You go on emeralds.com, we get you the recipe for that, mm -hmm. as well as these great potato rolls right here. Mm -hmm. I have our cilantro mayonnaise. Now I'm gonna have a little bit of onion, mm -hmm. lettuce, a couple of slices of tomato, just a little bit of salt, our burgers Look at this, they're like 155, 160. We're gonna take that turkey burger off, set it right on top there, and then watch this, guys. That goes there. Look at that. It is absolutely perfect, the turkey burger. You know, remember, folks, food is meant to be shared, especially with friends like you. I'll see you next time on Emerald's Table. Oh, yeah, dig in, guys. I mean, come on, this is... This is the, the bacon. Everything is so good in this. Oh, I know. It's, it's delicious. Mm. You know, there's something about blue cheese and mm. bacon. Mm -hmm. No matter what you put it on, the, the it combination good. is just, it's, it's, I mean, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Are you going to have some? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to have some of this milkshake right here. 
so you get the, oh, uh, you get the bang the, too. Yeah, you get the heat with the, the cool ice cream. With yeah, the heat it's so good. Mm. So, what's your most popular? Chocolate raspberry truffle is our most chocolate popular chocolate raspberry, raspberry truffle. truffle. That's yeah, insane. Chocolate, it is so good with oh. the. And you can add, you can even add like Chambord if you want to make oh, the, God. if you want to make it an alcoholic. Oh. And, yeah, it's really good. Grand Marnier. I mean, Grand Marnier, whatever. Yeah. Just keep adding it. It's great.